Now in this video, we would be solving this question. Who is sales? Now let us explore a case where there is a boundary solution. Suppose that the price of nuts is still 1, the price of berries is 2, but Ambrose's income is only 9. Draw his budget line in blue. Sketch the indifference curve that passes through the point 9 comma 0. What is the slope of his indifference curve at the point 9 comma 0? So there are multiple subparts here, but we will be solving solve them one by one. So let's begin. Firstly, we know that your 1 is the units of nuts. X2 is the units of berries. So of berries. Your utility function is of the form u of x1 comma x2 is equal to 4 of square root of x1 plus x2. P1 be the price of nuts, P2 be the price of berries and M be his income. So firstly, your price of nuts is 1, price of berries is 2 and M is 9. Now we are asked to draw his budget line. Before that, we need to calculate his budget line. Your budget line will be of the form your expenditure is equal to income. Your expenditure is the consumption of nuts the plus the expenditure on berries should be equal to income. Substituting the value of P1, P2 and M, here I get X1 plus 2X2 is equal to 9. So this is my equation of your budget line. This is the graph where on the x-axis we have nuts, y-axis we have berries. So plotting this line, it would look like this blue line. So this is your budget line. So next the question says, sketch the indifference curve that passes through the point 9 comma 0. For that, we have to calculate the utility the consumer is getting at the point 9 comma 0. So that would be 4 square root of 9 plus 0. Since x1 is taking the value of 9 and x2 is taking the value of 0. So all I am doing is substituting the value of x1 and x2 into this equation in order to calculate the utility. So that becomes 4 multiplied by 3 plus 0 is equal to 12. So now I want the indifference curve that gave Ambrose the utility of 12. So that implies my equation is of the form square root of x1 plus x2 is equal to 12 or 4 square root of x1 plus x2 is equal to 12. At x1 is equal to 0, I have 4 under root 0 plus x2 is equal to 12. That implies your x2 is equal to 12. So your one point is 0 comma 12. Now note again how I am repeating that in order to calculate the values of x1 and x2, you have to choose those values of x1 which are perfect square. Since x1 is taking a functional form of square root, in order to ease your calculations and plot the points further, try and choose simple numbers. But by choosing simple numbers, be mindful that what is the functional form. Here the functional form is of square root, so that's why I am choosing perfect squares for x1. I have two points. Let's calculate one more point. Suppose x1 takes the value of 4. So that implies a 4 square root of 4 plus x2 is equal to 12. That would be x2 is equal to 8. So your point becomes 4 comma 8. So let's plot all these points. And by joining them, I would be able to get my desired indifference curve, which would look like this purple indifference curve. Oh, next, the question is asking us to calculate the slope of indifference curve at the point 9 comma 0. The slope of the indifference curve is nothing but your MRS, which is your marginal rate of substitution. And this is nothing but mathematically, this is minus of mu x divided by mu y, where mu x and mu y is the marginal utilities of good with respect to x and y respectively. Mu x is nothing but partially differentiating the utility function with respect to first good. Here your first good is x1, so this becomes your x1. So that would be, if I partially differentiate this with respect to x1, that would be, for that I have to keep x2 as constant. And this becomes your 4 
divided by 2 square root of x1. It's nothing but 2 square root of x1. And mu x2 is the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to second good. That would be, for that I have to keep x1 as constant. This is your 1. Substituting these values into this, I get my MRS as minus of 2 square root of x1. Divide by 1. So my MRS is at x1 comma x2 is minus of 2 divided by square root of x1. Now I have to calculate this at 9 comma 0. So that would be MRS at 9 comma 0. So this is minus 2 divided by square root of 9. That is minus 2 divided by 3.